We've just finished stitching out this design, but I want to show you something about the hoop function down here. When we touch it, we've been using it to adjust the hoop size so the machine knows what size of hoop that we have on. But notice that we have other options. We have current stitch, park position, bobbin position, trim position, and center position. So let's just go down through each of these. Well, current stitch, that's just gonna be on um, the first stitch of the design, and so that is what moves it there. Okay, back to hoop options, park position. When you arrow down to park position, this is going to, and it always tells me to remove the hoop, because it's gonna take the embroidery arm all the way over to the side. This is the position that you can get this module back into the styrofoam of your um, box. So if you have a, one, but purchase one of the Husqvarna Viking bags that the styrofoam goes in, then this fits in. And that's how you can move it easily to that particular position. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of bring it back into position. And I'm gonna put the hoop back on so you can see this next one here. Okay, attach it back. The next one is bobbin position. Watch this. Uh, go ahead, oh, let's see here. It needs to, we need to touch hoop. Let's come back out of there and then back in. Great, bobbin position. It takes the whole hoop, moves it all the way as far back as it will go, and you can actually get in here and pull the bobbin out. You, it's gonna be a tight squeeze, but you actually can get in here, pull the bobbin out, put it back in, and then get it all lined back up. So all you have to do is kind of just lift the hoop up as you do that. Next is, let's do an un, bring it back to where we need to be. Trim position, that means it's gonna bring the whole hoop to you and it makes it really easy again here if you're doing an applique to trim out your fabric, make it all nice and, and perfect or if there's any um, jump stitches you wanted to trim before it continues on. You don't have to take the whole hoop off. Sometimes you do, but if you just need to do a few trimming, it's a lot easier to have the hoop towards you than actually having to maneuver your scissors underneath the presser foot. Uh, if you touch OK, trim position also comes back. A note about trim position, if you touch the needle up, needle down function, that also brings you into the hoop area, hoop options, and also brings it to trim position. And the last one is center position. So as you touch OK, that brings you to the center of the hoop. As you get used to using your hoop options, you will definitely find it will move it wherever you need to go with just a touch of a button.